Hey guys, welcome back. back. So I am clearly blued out today. I have my blue top on from Zara, I believe. And then I have my blue coffee mug here with coffee in it. And then of course I have blue contact lenses on. I wanna give a quick shout out to Dr. Lee Contacts brand. And they decided to reach out to me a while back and they sent me four contact lenses to try out. So today I'm trying out the blue colored one. Unfortunately, the name of this contact lens that I have on, it's not um, listed on the box itself. So I will have to do my own research and I will link the exact um, kind that I have on my eyes right now. So I'm very much into very natural looking contact lenses. So this is definitely not my cup of tea. I wouldn't buy anything remotely close to this type because it looks really animated. So once I start my eye makeup application, you guys will be able to see these contacts up close. But so far, it feels really, really comfortable on the eyes. But I just don't like the look of these contacts on um, me personally because I have dark brown, like really deep, dark, almost black, um, brownish color eyes. So anything that has too much pigment on the lenses itself, like I see a lot of blue and like, like dark grays on the lens itself, it's gonna make my pupils look even more dilated if that makes sense so so far i'm not a huge fan of it i appreciate that brand sent me free items to try out but i'm still going to give you guys my honest feedbacks and not just you know um tell you guys lies <laughs> obviously so yeah i'm not feeling these type but the lens itself feels comfortable so i am finally playing with the pat mcgrath uh venus and fleurs Lux quad and voyeuristic vixen this is such a hard name to pronounce if you guys are new to my channel i am on a makeup no buy for this year so you won't be seeing any new makeup related items on my channel for sure so and there's nothing new i am just showcasing the items that i have in my collection already and the ones that are new to me so this pot has been sitting in my eyeshadow palette collection for some times and i finally decided to take that bullet and say you know what i want to play with this quad today so here it is So this quad, I've seen so many reviews on this and a lot of people love it. There are some haters out there, however, who really don't like one of the shades um, within this quad. And it's, I believe, the Rose Fire Nectar shade. There's a lot of love and hate relationship for this shade alone. So I'm going to do a quick swatch for you guys and then we will play with it on my eyeballs. So the first shade is Moonlight Liaison. Or, um, liaison. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I'm butchering um, the names. Alright, so that is a pigmented right there. Just one little swatch lord have mercy so the next one that i am really excited about is the rose fire nectar i feel like it's almost two-toned and again it's super super pigmented i believe the rose fire nectar is also have grad special shades but i'm not too certain on it so please don't quote me and then the last two shades at the bottom we have after dusk and twilight bronze so again this is twilight bronze 
and after dusk. So welcome to this close up. Um, now you guys can kind of see the contact lenses up close as well. So I'm going to be using the Intensify, is it what it's called? Yeah, Intensify Eyes Artistry Wand from Pat McGrath today for sure. So I'm going to place down the After Dusk shade for my crease first as my transition color. I already have a base place down as well. You want to slowly build up the color for more intensity. So time to put on Intensive Eyes Artistry Wand and you want to just click just a tad bit. I like this triangle shape. Breaking off just a tad bit. So let's pack on that color. The Rose Fire Nectar. The color looks insane. It's gorgeous. And then I'm going to go in with Moonlight Liaison on my inner tear duct. And of course I needed to use all of these shades so I'm gonna add the Twilight Bronze on the lower lash line. And then just a tad bit of the After Dusk on the outer corner lower lash line. I feel like with this reddish tones and the blue contact lenses on, it makes me look like I'm a vampire. And I love vampires. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to apply on a mascara and a, maybe a little bit of eyeliner and then I'll be right back. So this is the eye makeup look that I have created using this quad today. I don't know how else I would use this palette. If I have to use this over again, I would just ignore the um, Rose Fire Nectar shade because this shade definitely overpowers and like <laughs> rightfully so overpowers all of the other shades within this quad like this shade alone it's a very nice stand um standalone shade for sure so although i think this is a gorgeous quad and i really love the outcome of my eye makeup look today I don't necessarily think that you need this quad in your makeup collection, especially if you are a huge Pat McGrath fan and you already have so many of her eyeshadow palettes. I don't think you're missing out if you don't have this quad in your collection per se. I know there are a lot of people out there who love this quad because of that one shade alone. And honestly, when I was watching reviews on this quad, I was drawn to this shade and even looking at it in person I'm just like in awe <laughs> with the glitter shades every time I look at a Pat McGrath glitter shade like I just want to keep staring at it all day long that's how much mesmerized I am with the colors and putting it on your lids even um, I love how reflective her glitter shades are it's just it's insane her shimmer 
glitter like it's like a unicorn's poop you know it's just so magical so this is basically my conflicting thoughts and reviews on this quad i know i'm not much of a help because i i love this quad however i don't really think that you need this quad to complete your pat mcgrath makeup collection if that makes sense yeah but i'm happy to have it so but anyways thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye